blind date with Marty Feldman. Marty Feldman reviews the singles of June 1968. Marty Feldman has emerged in the last year as one of the funniest men on television. He has just finished a BBC Two series called Marty, and was previously seen in the ITV show At Last The 1948 Show. Marty is the brother of Jasmine Victor Feldman, who now lives and works in the USA. He describes his taste in music as Catholic, and he likes anything from Donovan and Cream through to jazz. Marty said, I had a bop group years ago. It was the group that Tubby Hayes later went professional with. It included people like Harry South and Les Condon. I played trumpet. I have a write-up that describes me as the worst trumpet player in the world, which I think sums it up. I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you fire. I'll take you to burn. Who's this? I like this very much, very exciting. Yeah, I like that. I think it's a possible hit. The overall sound is very exciting, I don't want to pull it apart. It's not like other singers who get a style of arrangement imposed on them. I imagine Arthur Brown had quite a say in this. Arranging is an arbitrary thing. It's all over. The war is over. It sounds a bit overproduced. It seems to be a very simple song that someone's got hold of and gimmicked up with manufactured sound effects. Why are they so afraid of simplicity? It wasn't written like that, and it wasn't conceived like that. The producer can take the blame for it. Things like Beatles and Donovan are terribly simple, with a lot of things you go whistling the recording engineer. It sounds like everyone in the pop industry is desperate, frantic. It's got so little to do with the people who sing on the record, Sometimes it seems the recording engineers and the producers would be happy if they could find a way to produce records without using people or instruments. The other woman finds time to manicure her nails. Oh yeah, some songs you know just by feeling the goose pimples. This is a goose pimple song. There's a dated sort of sound about this song, very good. It's performance over material. It's not a very good song but she does it very well. I wouldn't think it would have much chance in the charts, but everything she does is good. She could make Onward Christian Soldiers sound great. Nice, great, lovely. Nice idea. It swings like a bitch, doesn't it? Is it an American group? I like it very much. I hope it makes it. This is an arranger's song from the beginning. The arranger has set it. Who is it? This is what I mean by arbitrary arranging. This man can swing and he's not being allowed to swing. Very dull. It's a pity. I don't know whether they are trying to anticipate a swing to ballads and make a blues singer sing a ballad. It's an arrangement you'd expect for a singer like Kathy Kirby. This is a great case for artists having control over arrangements. No reaction to this at all. It's okay. I don't hate it. I wouldn't smash it over their heads whoever made it. It's just disc jockey fodder to fill in with. Pop Muzak. Darling, go home. Your husband is dead. Yes, he did. Haven't got the vaguest idea who it is. Sickly over orchestrated folk music. I find them unbearably coy. Cinderella Rockefeller was a better song. I don't think this one will be so big. Quite frankly, they give me the creeps. It's pretty. Have they had a hit before? Lovely sound. It's very good musically in its basic construction. Very nice. I don't know what the scene is with these records. There's a type of sound that goes with trends. I think this is a very good song. It deserves to be a hit. Not a word to Mary Don't let her know I stayed here with you Is it Tom Jones? I hate this chest-beating sort of singing. It sounds manufactured. They use some very good boys on these sessions, don't they? Is it a British session? Yes, it's a I don't like it. Very tricky arrangement. Another arranger's song. In case I sound cynical, I think pop music is better now than it ever has been. It's far more intelligent and far more musical. I dislike the tendency back to 50s rock and roll. I hope the wit doesn't go out of pop. <laughs>